so organized. But not a bad view for the morning. In May 2016, I made the decision to quit my job and hit the road for two and a half months. In total, I did 6,700 miles. First on a 2005 Honda Shadow 750, then on a 1980 Suzuki GS850. I was gone for 70 days. This was my pilgrimage. It is the morning of day three. I think it's like nine o'clock now. I woke up multiple times in the night. There was a horrible windstorm at around three o'clock in the morning. It didn't stop until five. Uh, sleeping on the ground didn't really help that um, matter because the air pump for my air mattress didn't, decided that it wasn't going to work last night. So I uh, ended up sleeping on the ground, which is, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I think in comparison to everything that happened yesterday, it was worth it to sleep on the ground. I woke up about seven and just laid there because I was so tired, um, partially because my body didn't really get a full rest. So uh, it is officially nine o'clock. I have begun the packing process of everything that I pulled out last night. I'm gonna put it on the bike and uh, head for the Nevada border. Um, hair has reached critical mass. So uh, the amazing Jude who runs the women's adventure writing group on Facebook is going to let me stay with her in Salt Lake City tonight, um, which is still a good seven hour drive, but I can do it. I can do it for the shower. For the shower. It is officially the end of day three on the road to Moab. Oh, all I can say about this day is, oh. The road was good, it was fine. I just got beat the hell out of by the wind. I took a really slow time packing up, just taking my sweet time, and this bunch of bikers showed up that were on their own little ride. So I was distracted leaving, Did, for, didn't even notice that my camelback was like sitting on the top of the back of my pack, on the back of the bike, and I rode off and I got two miles down the road and then realized that my camelback had just flew off the back of my bike, back like at the field station where I had camped that night and like was so embarrassed, drove back and they're like, Oh yeah, we were just gonna meet you, meet up with you in Winnemucca and give it to you. So they had it like in their little saddlebag thing, and uh, they were they were they were cool dudes. After that, I hauled butt today. There isn't a lot of photos for today because I did 457 miles, something like that. I was on the bike for seven hours today, uh, which I try not to do because of this, because of this feeling of just wanting to die. <laughs> I didn't really get to stop and do anything. I drove right by, by the Bonneville Salt Flats, which is like a sin for a motorcyclist. The amazing, incredible Jude Rosenthal has rescued me. I, like, I hope this trip is just like filled with me being rescued by people because it is the best thing. Camping's all cool and all, but not having to be in the cold is really awesome. Also showers. Showers will be had in the morning. Oh, so exciting. I'm also kind of peeved that there was no sign and like saying that I was entering Nevada. I was looking so forward to stopping and getting a picture in front of the Nevada sign and there wasn't one. Nevada, get on it. Also, like I was so spaced out from being tired on the road that I totally missed the welcome to Utah sign. I saw it as it was going past. <laughs> And I'm like, is it worth it to stop and roll back and take a photo? And like at that point, I'm like, oh, my body hurts too much to like sit around and set up the tripod and take photos and then break down the tripod and put everything back in the, the yeah. So that didn't happen. But I have officially been in Nevada and Utah. I don't think I've ever been into Utah. If I have, it was when I was much younger and I don't remember it. Somewhere my mom is like, you've been to every state. Yes, mom but I don't remember most of them. I haven't actually been to every state. That's just an exaggeration of when I'm like, I've never been there. And then my mom is like, yeah, you have. And I'm like, I was? And she's like, yeah, when you were two. I love you, mom. Anyway, gonna get some Skype on and then sleep and then shower in the morning and hopefully get a ride or have lunch with Jude because she's freaking amazing. And I'm a bad kid because I showed up past their bedtime. Just a warning if you, you know, 
ever think to reach out to me and be like, you can stay at my house. Just a warning that I will probably be two hours later than I say I'm going to be. Or more. I don't seem to be able to show up at people's houses until it's dark outside. Now I'm rambling because I'm that tired. Good stuff. Four hours to Moab tomorrow. So excited.